The way we make pictures is we make pictures for people that are interested in specifics. They're not going to be interested in everything. They're going to be interested in that scene. I love that scene. Somebody else say, I hate that scene because it has something to do with their life. Known as the godfather of American independent cinema, John Cassavetes had a prolific career in film. Born in New York City in 1929 to Greek-American parents, Cassavetes first rose to fame as the star of the TV show Johnny Staccato, in which he played a jazz-loving pianist who doubles as a private detective. He is also known for his roles in the movies The Killers, The Dirty Dozen, and Rosemary's Baby. But it is as an independent film writer and director that Cassavetes is best remembered. Cited by several of the filmmakers from the French New Wave as a huge influence, Cassavetes' impact on independent cinema cannot be overstated. His films were often shot on a low budget, using a cast and crew of dedicated talent that were hired for their commitment to the art of filmmaking, rather than their desire for fame and fortune. Cassavetes' films generally contain a lot of realism, and his directing style gave his actors plenty of room to improvise and react spontaneously to the scenarios being played out. With 11 feature film credits as a director, we advise seeing as many films by John Cassavetes as possible. But to start you off, here are our top five films by this singular and unforgettable artist. Number one, Faces. Shot in a documentary style, 1968's Faces was an inspiration to the forthcoming generation of American filmmakers that would come to be known as the New Hollywood Movement. This amazing film is a character study of a soon-to-be-divorced couple as they socialize with various groups of friends over the course of an evening. Actually, it's a very good film. Number two, Husbands. A divisive film at the time, and perhaps still now, 50 years after its release, Husbands is the story of three middle-aged guys who go to a funeral of a close friend and spend a couple of days reeling in shock and grief, getting drunk and living it up to numb out the reality. They then decide to fly to London, and in a pathetic attempt to deny their advancing years, they try to pick up some girls they meet at a casino. It does not end well, and reality is waiting for each of them at the conclusion of the picture. Husbands is an expose on failure, shortcomings, averageness, self-pity, self-indulgence, friendship, and masculinity. I could drink you under the table. Number three, A Woman Under the Influence. Starring Cassavetti's wife, Jenna Rollins, and his friend, Peter Falk. Forget about it. A Woman Under the Influence is an emotional story about a family that is torn in two when the eccentric behavior of wife and mother, Mabel, causes her husband Nick to send her away to a mental institute for treatment of psychosis. Ultimately tragic and often difficult to witness, this film is carried by an amazing central performance from Rollins, who pours everything into her character and portrays a range of emotion that is not only a convincing representation of mental health struggles, but an incredibly human performance, rendered as if no one is watching at all. I always understood you and you always understood me and it was always just Oh, it was, and that's it. Number four, the killing of a Chinese bookie. This is a story about a strip club owner that gets into trouble with the mob via a series of gambling debts. After making the final payment on a long running debt, Cosmo, played by Ben Gazzara, goes out with a few of the strippers that work at the club and ratchets up another $23,000 debt overnight, putting him right back in the pockets of the wrong people. The performances are strong, and Gazzara is on peak form as the corrupted hero. You learn it. You learn to be happy, you learn to play the fool, you learn to be what everybody wants you to be. Number five, Gloria. Gloria is Cassavetti's most commercial film. He originally wrote the screenplay with the intention of simply selling it to Columbia Pictures. However, his wife Jenna Rollins fell in love with the script and wanted to play the central character with Cassavetti's directing. This whirlwind story about a former gangster's mole who rescues a young boy from the clutches of the mob is a wild ride of feminine power. Serving as an answer to the macho, gun-toting heroes of the day, Roland steps up to the plate and delivers a memorable and highly entertaining turn as a hard-ass mother figure who goes against the grain and her own self-interest to rescue a little man whose family has been assassinated. Go ahead, Trun. Okay? You let a woman beat ya! You little tiny nothing! 
Read our review of Gloria and be sure to check out our top five article for more about John Cassavetes and his movies. You'll find all the links in the description. So that's our top five John Cassavetes films in chronological order. Have you seen any of them? Which is your favorite Cassavetes film? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Terrible, terrible. Unreal. Unreal. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any uploads from more movies. If you like what you saw in this video, you can support us at buymeacoffee.com or join us on Patreon. All the links are in the description below.